Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel and welcome to my 2023 Pan Those Eyeshadows intro. I am so excited. This is my third year doing this project and I cannot tell you how excited I have been to film this intro and start to work on some new shades. I really feel like the first year I did this project, I had a lot of shades I really liked. And then the second year, so last year, it was a mix of shades I liked and didn't like. So I'm really excited to see what shades we get this month. Just a quick little overview in case you aren't familiar with the Panos Eyeshadows project. This was created by a creator named Alexi. I will link her channel down below. I don't believe she currently does panning content anymore, but I will link her channel down below just in case. Essentially, I'm just randomizing five shadows from my collection of eyeshadows. I have a whole spreadsheet up on my laptop. Each shade in my collection is corresponding to a number. I'm gonna randomly generate five numbers to pick five shades. And I personally like to choose an additional shade that is a shade of my choosing to work on throughout the month so we will go ahead and jump into it. My rules are the same as last year's project. I have a 20 use threshold. If I hit 20 uses and I don't feel like it's a shade I want to continue to work on, I am more than welcome to roll it out. I do reserve the right to veto shades if I feel like two shades are too similar in my project and I also think that's it. I feel like I'm forgetting a rule, but I will link last year's intro down below as well in case you want to refresh on the rules. So as of the day I'm filming this, December 27th, I have 2,923 shadows in my collection, which is a lot. Definitely nobody needs that much eyeshadow. In fact, I haven't bought new eyeshadow since like October or even maybe September because the last thing I bought was the Odin's Eye Christmas palettes and I'm not sure when those came out. And out of those 2,923, I have 31 pans in my collection. So we're sitting, I believe when I calculated it, it was like the 1% threshold. So I'm excited to see how those numbers compare from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. I am going to be trying to be a little bit more picky about how much eyeshadow in particular I'm bringing into my collection. I just feel like I don't need as much makeup anymore as I have had in the past. That is why I've been doing Shop My Stashes, using up products, and doing panning projects. So let's go ahead and stop rambling and select our five shades. So I have my random number generator up on my phone here. My minimum is two, max two, nine, two, four. We're just gonna randomize five shades. Two, five, eight, six, 14, 40, four, three, five, two, six, two, seven, and three, oh, six. I just went and grabbed all of the shades we rolled in and I am so excited to share these with you. I just pulled out the palette so I haven't seen the shades yet. But I'm going to just say right now, it is the year of Too Faced, given all the shades we pulled. The first shade we rolled, it was 2586, and it comes out of my Too Faced Natural Lust palette, which is honestly one I haven't really used since I got it. I did use this palette in a makeup look that I won an award for a couple years back, but other than that, I haven't really used it. And the shade we got is Set in Stone, which is this really pretty neutral brown shade. I've been really big into the natural makeup looks recently, especially for work, just because it's so much easier than trying to put together crazy elaborate looks every day before going into the salon. So I really feel like this shade will get a lot of use just from like everyday wear. The second shade I rolled was 1440, which comes from my Jeffree Star Thirsty palette. And the shade we got was Lick, which is this really pretty bronze shimmer shade. I will be honest, I like the Jeffree Star formula, but I hate the shimmers in this palette. I feel like they're so lackluster, and I remember when this palette came out, I felt like it was just this huge deal because he did a different shimmer formula, but I really feel like it takes a ton of building up, so this one I really feel like might be in the project for a little while. I can definitely see this one being a 20 use threshold shade. I'm not sure how much I will want to use this shade trying to hit pan on it, but I'm going to attempt it regardless and it will look really good with that brown. Shade 435 comes from my ColourPop Melt For You. I think this is a quint. Is that what you call a five pan palette? A quint. And the shade we got is Sweetie, which is this really easy light neutral cream shade. It's like a pinky cream. 
very easy to use I'm sure it's oh look at that that actually pulls a little bit more pink than I was expecting but that'll be a pretty easy one to hit pan on I feel like these lighter shades I can really just blend them out into a ton of different looks so this one would be really good in the crease as a transition I feel like there's a lot of ways I could use this shade and I feel like maybe I could do like a Neapolitan type look <laughs> haven't decided yet but I do think this one will be pretty easy to use as well as all of these palettes, now that I'm thinking about it, are palettes that I haven't used a ton or just haven't used in a really long time. I'm excited to get some more use out of this palette. I've only used it a couple times, so it'll be nice to have some more wear and tear on this one. Shade number 2627 comes from one of my oldest palettes, the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. This is so amazing. It still smells like peach. I'm obsessed with the smell. Sometimes I just open up my Too Faced palettes just to smell the smells. But I got Caramelized, which is this kind of bronzy shimmer. It is not the usual shimmer I would go for, but given our color story, I feel like I could make that work because we have a matte brown, I have the shimmer brown, I might end up wearing a lot of brown eyeshadow over the next couple months. At least I will have some use in this palette. I have panned a couple of Too Faced palettes and they are a little bit on the trickier side, but I do think that I could make a decent amount of progress before next update. I might even use it as like a brown liner shade. I do like to wear brown eyeliner, so I could either set my brown liner with this shade or maybe even just use it as a faux liner. There's lots of ways I feel like I could use this one and it'll be nice to get some more use out of it given it is one of my oldest palettes. And the last randomly generated shade is number 306 and comes from my ColourPop Dallas Mavericks palette. First off, complete side note, I've been binge watching the Making the Team Dallas Cowboys Cheerleader show and so a lot of the girls used to dance for the Mavericks and so I've actually been wanting to pull this one out. And the shade we got is Run and Gun, which is this top taupey shade. And this shade, I actually feel like it will take me a while to hit pan on. I've never actually used this palette, but these are the types of shades, like these grays and like taupes that I've been wearing as like everyday crease shades when I go out. I just kind of do like a cool tone taupey shade with maybe like a little bit of a pink mixed in. So I could maybe even mix like these two and create something really cute just for everyday wear. I was so excited when I pulled this one out because this has been on my mind recently. And I think the panning gods knew that because I have wanted to reach for this one in particular quite a bit over the past couple weeks and just haven't gotten around to it. So it will be a good excuse to pull this one out and play with it. I feel like the randomly generated shades we got this rotation are all fairly good shades. They're not shades I would typically gravitate towards myself, but that is the name of the game. We are here to pan eyeshadow and I'm very happy with the selection of palettes we got given that they're all older or unused. And of course, my favorite part about panning projects, my hand-selected shade. Today I'm selecting out of my Gingerbread Spice by Too Faced. I currently have two pans in here. I'm trying to finish up Powdered Sugar and I have a pan in Warm and Toasty. But for my individually selected shade, I've decided to add in Spiked Eggnog, which is this really pretty champagne shade. It'll be a nice inner corner highlight. I feel like every year I do this project, I like to start out with a inner corner highlight or brow bone highlight type shade just so I have an easy win because I know it's going to take me a little while to start building up progress on some of my other shades. So I do want to have a nice easy shade. It does have a little bit of a dip and these pans are pretty deep but I feel like if I use this on the daily I could potentially hit pan either by next update or the following update. It is actually what I'm using in my inner corner today. So I think it goes good with a lot. It pulls a little gold with warm tone looks. It pulls a little more champagne with like pinky or cool tone looks. So I feel like it's very versatile and I will be able to make a significant amount of progress on this one as well. Here is the overall color story that I'm going to be working with over the next month. If you do want to watch any of my previous panning projects, I will link all those playlists down in the description below. Also, be sure to subscribe before you go so you don't miss any notifications when I update any of my projects. And with that, I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, friends!